Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace, where I host my very own website. So whether you need a domain, a website, or an online store, make it with Squarespace, and I have a 10% off discount code. So stay tuned till the end of the video for more information on that. To another recipe video. Today's video is all about budget meals that are all under a pound. I've done I think two of these videos and everyone seemed to really enjoy them so I thought I'd do another one. These are perfect for students, perfect for beginners, people on a budget. They're all really simple to make and they're also all really cheap. I want to get rid of this idea that eating vegan foods and plant-based meals is expensive because you can make it really affordable, especially when you cook meals in bulk. I've not included things like spices in the price or oil and I have gone off of what they sell in Tesco. So that's what I'm using as a reference because it's a pretty uh, accessible supermarket here in the UK. I know lots of people say, oh, that's so cheap. How did you afford that? I live in the UK and those are the prices of the things here. But I think most of these foods are pretty affordable worldwide, but adjust according to what you have available to you and experiment with it. All of the recipes are linked in the description below on my website, as well as my eBooks and also our vlogging channel if you're interested in seeing a little bit more behind the scenes travel stuff from me and my boyfriend. So without further ado, let's get into the recipes. adjust, add a bit more tahini if it needs it, a bit more pepper, a bit more salt. I think a little bit more pepper and then it's just right. I'm making this every day now. So the reason I use tahini in this recipe is because I know that Lots of you guys watching are from all over the world and you don't necessarily have access to things like soy cream. Here we do and if you want to try it with just soy cream instead of soy milk and tahini then give that a go but I like to use the stuff that I buy anyway on a regular basis for my recipes because I always have tahini and I always have soy milk so I like to use things like that because otherwise I'd be going out and buying soy cream specifically and then maybe not finishing the tub or the jar or whatever it is, what's it? Container. I don't typically buy soy cream, so I like to make do with what I have and I feel like this is a bit more affordable and I don't know, even if soy cream is cheap, it's more affordable in my head to have a container of tahini in your cupboard that you can use for various meals and same with soy milk that you can use for a variety of other things. So yeah, it tastes so good and I'm in love. This is so fresh and so easy. It took like 10, 15 minutes, so mm. Mm. 
Oh. The reason that I've done this recipe is because, if I'm honest, I more times than often will make muesli this way than prepare it ahead of time. When I was at uni, I was definitely not meal prepping and making my own muesli and putting it in a jar. Like, that was just so beyond something I would do. But I probably would have done this. I'm sure, I'm sure I did do this, where I put some oats and some seeds and stuff and fruit and kind of make it on the day because that to me is easier and it probably doesn't make much sense. I should have just made a whole jar in the process. But some days you just haven't done that, but you can use what you have in the cupboard and you don't have to follow this recipe. You don't have to use these nuts or these seeds or these dried fruits, use whatever you have and just mix in a little bit of different things to make it taste delicious. And you have yourself a really cheap and easy and fast breakfast. I'm still in my pyjamas. <laughs> this recipe and preparing it I was gonna say that this was for one person <laughs> this was gonna be for one person but I was like 100 grams of couscous yeah that's about right and I was like thinking about yeah I'd normally have about a third of a cucumber and about you whole know tin of chickpeas. well I was gonna do half a tin I ended up adding the whole thing so minus the half of tin of chickpeas this is gonna be for one person so now it's even cheaper because it was originally gonna be a pound now it's gonna be what like 40 50 peel however much I'm gonna show on the screen so, probably even do more than two. I don't even know how. This might do three or four people. So. <laughs> this is not gonna work. I going to run and buy a bowl. So, I don't have a bowl big enough, so I'm having to use our pan. That's how much of a minimalist I am. I don't buy bowls when I need them. You will go far, I know you are. then put the tahini on on the day that you're going to eat it so just make the salad you can put the lemon on um, but maybe just take a little container of tahini with you uh, otherwise it might, might make the lettuce and the ingredients go a bit soggy okay so this is something I think that's perfect if you're a student and you want to take this with you to the library or to your class or whatever because this is what I used to make this is the sort of thing that I used to make and that made loads. I thought it made, would make what, enough for one. I think it's made enough for about four portions. And I personally would bring this with me to university, to, to the library. I'd probably bring some hummus with me and maybe some dates and fruit and maybe like an energy bar or whatever and have like a coffee or a tea during the day. And it's like a perfect lunch that you can have with you. And it's delicious and it means you don't have to worry about your lunch because it's all done. Give it a go, it's so, so easy. And so, so good. It takes so little just to make me smile, but you don't seem to be around. My body aches for someone who makes me right. Tastes like a milkshake. You'd pay at least four pounds for this in a in a cafe. Mm. So 
We've just come back from Mallorca and we had the most delicious vegetable paella. So, or paella, paella. So we wanted to recreate it, but I know that there's gonna be lots of people saying, you didn't use saffron. I'm not gonna use saffron specifically because it's very expensive here. And this video is obviously a budget video. So I wanted to make it available to everyone. Students are in my mind in particular. And I know at university, I would not have gone out and bought saffron because in the UK at least, it's not readily available. You have to find it. I don't think they have it in the supermarket, do they? Maybe in bigger ones. I, I, you don't typically see them among like all the other spices, so I'm just going to stick with paprika. But obviously, if you live in Spain and you have access to saffron, go ahead and get it and do your thing. But um, a lot of the time with these recipes, I'm adapting things um, from the traditional recipe to make it cheaper, quicker, easier, etc. And that's what I'm doing with the paella. Paella. Is that how you say it? Paella. Paella. <laughs> Try to be strong until you get by But you don't seem to be around There's just so many things I want to say But now I'm breaking up inside You're on a mission now So I'm using some broad beans because they were at our local grocers but if you're feeling lazy just use frozen peas and bung them in five minutes before the pile is done that's probably what i would usually do but i wanted to use these because they looked really good This is so good. Better? Totally the same. I didn't include it in my what I eat a day when we went to we went to like a little beach restaurant and they had vegetable paella on the menu. But we weren't filming that day. I wish I had done. But they had artichokes on top and I was thinking about including them in this recipe. But I figured I, I wanted to put my head in the mind. I wanted to put my mind in the head of a student and I thought if I was a student there's no way I'd buy artichokes just because they're expensive. So I wanted to leave it out and keep it simple but if you do want to buy artichokes and put them on top then that would be really delicious because it really did add something kind of meaty to the texture which I think would work perfectly. So give that a go if you want otherwise this is really nice by itself. Mmm, so good. So that's it, those are all the recipes. I hope you enjoyed looking at them and watching them as much as I enjoyed cooking and eating them. They were so delicious. I've missed making these videos. They're my favorite ones to make by far. And all of the recipes are linked on my website in the description down below, as I mentioned before. Let me know in the comments down below which ones you're gonna be trying or which ones you like the look of the most. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. So I've talked about them before. I'm in love with Squarespace. I made my own website with them long before I ever did sponsored content with them on YouTube. So when they reached out to me, it was just the perfect fit. I absolutely loved the platform. It was so, so easy to make a website on there and I just am in love with the finished results. They have so many beautiful templates on their website, which made it so easy for me to create the look that I was after. I really wanted something sleek and professional and modern, and it wasn't hard for me to achieve that. They also have an all-in-one platform, which makes everything easy. You don't have to install anything. You don't have to add anything on top. So if you're new to website design like I was, 
that made things a lot simpler. Their customer service is also so amazing. They have forums with all the information that you need on how to do everything. Anytime I had a question about how to change something on my website, I went to their forums and went to their help pages, their customer support, and I immediately got the answer with step-by-step -step guides. It's also really easy to set up your domain on Squarespace, whether you have one or you don't already. One of the main reasons that I decided to set up a website in the first place was so that I could sell my eBooks, and Squarespace makes it very, very simple to do that. I can track all of my products, my orders, my inventory, all the email addresses. So if you're interested, then you can use the code MADELINE for 10% off your purchase using the link www.squarespace.com slash Madeline Olivia. I'll leave all the information in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. What was the intention for this? I forgot. Are you telling me how to edit my video? Yeah. Did you get that on film?